Hello friends. Today I am going to show you an efficient and effortless way of taking estimates for the gate wars. I only have to click a few buttons and that's it. Let me show you how. Everything you see here is uh, according to our schedule of rate and analysis of rate. For simplification, I have separated direction and painting as E and P. And uh, the supply and fabrication part into another sheet that is S and F. Okay, first uh, let me show you the E and P part. I only select the yellow cells, the cells which are colored yellow. Okay, these are also yellow colored cells. Then I choose which component to uh, erect. Okay, there are uh, two options showing uh, to be erected and doesn't exist. If I select doesn't exist, then uh, the weight is deducted. If I add it, then the weight is added to the sum. Okay. After the select doesn't exist, I have to also select for the painting part that it doesn't exist. Okay, then that is when the error is gone. <coughs> Suppose there is a gate where there is no requirement for the top seal. Okay, uh, first let me show you. This is RT, this is canal, this is a uh, name of the distributory or minor, whatever it is. You can fill it up. Uh, then it is the, the, this is the paint width this is paint height this is fsl to supply level uh, you can choose the screw or dia you can uh, also design it if you know how to do it okay. let me uh, select 50 then the screw dia selected here is 50 if i choose 63 then it changes to 63 okay uh, the gearbox uh, dimension is also changed then you have to fill uh, the slab height from the sill level and uh, you have to also uh, choose uh, if there is a concrete wall or not for most of the HR gates uh, the concrete wall is present uh, for the CR gates uh, there is no concrete, concrete wall and steel pressed wall I will explain it later okay so according to these parameters uh, the dimension of the skin plate that is the uh, height is decided okay it is according to a formula let me show you the formula uh, the gate height is according to these conditions okay uh, if FSL is less than paint height then it is uh, the gate of uh, height gate okay height of the gate is uh, paint height with no top cell if uh, FSL is greater than paint height then it will be paint height plus 0.1 with top cell if there is no pressed wall for the CR gates then the FSL if the FSL is less than slab height by 2 then uh, the gate height will be FSL with no top cell and uh, if the gate height the uh, paint height is uh, uh, otherwise the, the band height will be slab height by 2 with steel pressed wall and top seal. If there is no pressed wall and there is requirement for top seal then you have to uh, uh, insert a uh, top seal uh, sorry, a steel pressed wall. Okay. <coughs> um, the uh, components which are uh, which you do not require uh, you have to select doesn't exist suppose there is a gate where uh, there is no requirement for the top seal so you will have to select doesn't exist and after you select doesn't exist uh, the sum is changed okay and you will see the error here uh, it is because you have to select doesn't exist for the painting also okay the error is gone and it's a uh, uh, painting the sum of the painting is also updated okay 
then there is top seal ss seat uh, it is also not there uh, or will not be required uh, suppose uh, there is a breast wall still uh, uh, complete breast wall so there is no requirement of the breast wall okay so these are showing zero still breast wall and still breast wall stiffener so you will have to select doesn't exist for that two okay uh, here also there is uh, no requirement for the top seal on the gate leaf then top seal clamp it to These figures are updated accordingly. Okay. Then screw gear, screw rod. Okay, screw rod. Uh, you can select accordingly its diameter. <coughs> okay. Then uh, let's come to the supply and fabrication part. Uh, here you can see the things uh, you had hidden uh, in this sheet they are reflected here okay so you have to select does it exist for them to <coughs> and you can see the serial numbers are updated accordingly actually if you uh, after you are done with the selection process okay this is the NP after you are done with the selection process you can hide all of the unnecessary rows at once okay you don't have to uh, hide row hide every unnecessary row uh, one by one you can hide them all together okay let's go to the SNL. Uh, these four things are unselected then uh, this stiffener plate okay this stiffener plate will also be there is no requirement for this stiffener plate so we will select does not exist okay so here they are reflected does not exist these three things are doesn't exist okay so the sum is updated the gas cutting length and the welding length are also updated and uh, you will see uh, these figures the abstract of the supply of material they will be updated according to your selection okay you don't have to uh, change the sum or uh, calculate the sum okay and uh, you can see if you select lifting pin if you don't select it then lifting pin is lifting pin okay and height supply the lifting pin is uh, zero okay if you don't want to supply the bronze pad then after you select it the bronze pad will be zero and uh, the uh, pad basis will also be uh, deducted okay uh, so for all these height rows you don't have to hide it manually you can select deselect height row and all the unnecessary rows will be gone. Now we are forgot to deselect 